guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Harrods Garage. If you're tuning in for the first time, this is my V35 Skyline. It needs an engine replacement. So it's the cheapest one in Australia. But we've got a bit of work to do. So continuing on with uh, getting the radiator off, get this front section off so we can get the engine out. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so yesterday we got front bumper off, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a little card up here, this is the front bumper, it needs a bit of work, it looks like it's had a bit of work done before, and somebody's brushed paint onto it, I discovered that, oh, that's the hole, that's where the tow hook goes, um, yeah, so did that yesterday, also, Body guards, lights came off, and the bumper Rio. So, we're going to move on to draining the cooling system and removing this whole front section here. I have removed the front section before, um, you may have seen it in a few episodes ago. So I'm just looking at where I can drain the radiator from. Last time I just pulled the bottom radiator hose off. But, uh, yeah, look at all these spider webs. We've got a little house here. Actually sprayed it last night. So I found out these hoses here uh, for the automatic. So just like the Forester, it goes into the bottom of the um, radiator for cooling. I was right with the one from the Rekkers, that's the oil cooler. Um, well that's a small filter for the size of the engine. First the one's bigger. I found a little drain tap. It's not a little drain tap on the uh, radiators. It's going to clear up all these spider webs. Alright, I think I found the drain. See that guys? It changed colour, it was like water, and it's like crud water. This is how they were treating the engine, no wonder why it's seized up. It's not one drop of coolant. It's so filled up after there. But it had water, which is good. It's gonna need a flush anyways. Is that crud in it? Right, while that is draining, I'm going to be taking off the wiring looms and power steering cooler. One thing my dad said to me this morning was just take photos of every step. So if you forget, you can just look back. No, I am doing videos, but it's going to be a lot quicker if I just swipe through photos and go, yep, that's where that wiring loom went. That's where that plug went. There, 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 there. Okay. I'll take photos as well, so if you see me with my phone, that's what I'm doing.
Well, so I'm going to get some masking tape and um, just tape around the uh, connections and just um, write what they go to. So, you know, just set it all up and the plugs will reach plugs, but just in case this uh, whole process takes a little bit longer and I forget. Pen a clip. Alright, so we've got coolant and washer bottle to come off. So we've got this section here is the washer bottle. Um, I did take you through it when I took it off the one at the wreckers. So, um, I'm not really going to show it. It's been number four very recently, too. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm actually leaving the washer bottle there. So I'm a bit confused on how these work. Um, so I've just taken the neck off, which attaches up here, which is all good. Um, so yeah, that'll just go with it. I've taken the power steering cooler off, so that can be moved aside. So what I'm going to do now is disconnect. Um, Coolie pipes for the auto trans and plug them. Um, the bolts I'm going to use to plug them because I know they are a good size are actually these ones. Yeah, I'll take one off each side, bring it down, take one off, plug it, have that underneath to catch any excess, and yeah. So, got some drips from the radiator for the auto. Let's see, that's not good. Um, I'm going to undo the bottom radiator hose, top radiator hose, and the fans. And should be able to. These are pretty easy. These are cool. Let's unlock it. Ooh. Pull that up. Should be able to get it out. Alright, time to take this off. We need to take this off to get the radiator out by the looks of it. Just because the, uh, the condenser's also bolted to it. So we've got these two bolts up the top. Bolts. Bolt the condenser, and uh, that'll come around to here. Okay, so the main thing here. 
here is I'm trying to keep the power steering system closed and the AC um, closed as well. Where do we start? <laughs> Alright, so. Power steering. Yeah, unbolt power steering. So we got 14s. Make sure I get a hex. Alright, guys, so I've removed the power steering. Somebody had already attempted and rounded this. I did put a hex um, socket on there, impact socket, but um, it's still rotated on it. So, bracket's still on. Um, took the alternator off, so all the wiring is off there. I'm right, gonna move over to the aircon system. Um, so, yeah, I'm taking everything off while it's in, so I can see how I go getting it off at the wreckers. But you guys would have already seen the wreckers one anyway. So, yeah. Kind of all over the place at the moment, but just with the scheduling and actual real time. But we'll get it. Alright guys, so the is two bolts here and a bolt down here so on the air con here here and here I just pulled that off to the side so air con's gone alternator's gone power steering's gone we'll power steering's off to the side so alternator's down there so also, and not getting the starter. So, it's a couple of bolts holding that on. One facing this way, one facing the other way. Should be quite easy to get to. Um, it's more about the wiring, getting the wiring off. So, we're going to work on the wiring at the moment. So, I want to try to get as much wiring as possible when I get the engine from the records. So, I'm going to practice. I'm going to disconnect these two wires. Looks like one will go over the alternator. And the other one will go probably down to the starter. And then there's other ones. They look like they just clip in. Cool, cool. Oh my god. Nissan, are you serious? How easy is that? Alright, so take that off and put it over. Um, I need to do a bit of work in this battery area. It's not looking good. Probably do a quick sand and quick paint. So when the engine's out, I might give it a good, good I will give it a good clean up. Yeah. Alright, so I've got that wiring loom sitting on top of the engine now. So by the looks of it, it goes down to the starter. Ah, let me disconnect. Disconnect that. Because that looks like it actually goes. That's coming from. I'm getting dripped on. Um, to the auto. Need to disconnect all that. So I've got about an hour left of working in the car in daylight. I have to head back to work, so get as much time as possible. Probably won't be recording it just so I can do it quick. Alright, guys, gotta head back to work soon. Um, updated where I'm up to. Starter is off. That's really funny. I've got a blanking one on the other side, too. So these uh, blocks are very universal. So I've got four bolts and the bell housing off. Um, yeah, wiring's off. As you can see, the accessories up, off. I've just got this radiator hose on here, upside down, because it kept 
dripping on me. Yeah. Next we got a this wiring loom, I believe. I need to pull through a little bit. And I need to start getting down in that area. So might have to take the top off this. Yeah, that's all I got time for today. So might jump back into it tonight actually. When I get home from work. Get some light in there and see how we go. 